What's going on guys, Call it Mush back at it with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Now, if you guys know me, I've been excited for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain for a long time now. I remember talking about this game back in 2013 when we first saw gameplay. I bought Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes on the PS4 and then I bought it again on PC when I heard how excellent of a port it was. And it was, it was a phenomenal port. That was one of the best ports I've ever seen. And that port made me even more excited to play Phantom Pain on PC. But now as we get closer and closer to release, some of my hype has died down. And a big part of this is how Konami's been handling gamers recently, the firing or whatever happened with Hideo Kojima. This looks to be Hideo Kojima's last Metal Gear game, and I don't know about Metal Gear continuing on with Kojima, but Konami is also saying that they think the future of gaming is on mobile platforms, so they don't even want to make games on consoles and PC, so it's just a giant hoopla. But the game looks great, but it's everything surrounding this game that's killing the hype for a lot of people, including me. Now, don't get me wrong, Metal Gear Solid 5 looks absolutely tremendous. I mean, it's an open world Metal Gear game. The graphics look insane. And that's also being on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Yes, this game is releasing on PS3, 360, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. So there was obvious limitations that had to be made to get the game on last generation platforms as well. But the game looks terrific by all gameplay videos, but obviously there could be a downgrade, but let's hope that there isn't. And Ground Zero still looks great on PC. If it looks anything like Ground Zero's, I'll be a happy camper. But let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious as what the community's excitement level is for Metal Gear Solid 5. I know for me, I'm still really excited about the game. I'm definitely going to pick it up. By the way, PC gamers do get it two weeks after console players, which kind of sucks. But hell, I'll wait the two weeks if that means we're getting an excellent port like we did with Ground Zeroes because I don't want something like Arkham Knight. Take your time, make a good port. I'm sure PC gamers are going to buy it regardless. We have a lot of games to play as it is. It's not going to kill us if we have to wait another two weeks. But like I said, I think the game looks great. It's just this aura surrounding Konami right now. Silent Hills got cancelled and Metal Gear without Kojima. I just don't know how to feel about that. Maybe they're just swerving us all. Metal Gear will turn out great. Maybe Kojima and Konami will get back together. All will be good, but I don't know. There seems to be a cloud of uncertainty over Konami's head and the same cloud of uncertainty over Metal Gear as a franchise. So I know the game is going to be excellent, but I just don't know what to expect in the future. And that kind of kills the anticipation of the game. Don't get me wrong. I'm still super excited to play this game, but not to the level I was in 2013 and earlier on in 2014. So let me know what you guys think. I really want to know what the community's opinion is. Especially let me know if you guys played Ground Zeroes. Let me know if it worked great on your machine because on my machine that game ran flawlessly. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. As always guys, have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.